Welcome back to Amnesia, and today I have a brand new custom story. Ooh, I'm so excited. This one is made by Tiza and the Backpack Player. It's a prequel, prequel on Hunting Ground. It was uh, released last year somewhere. It was a very popular uh, custom story. And apparently, this one is even better, so I'm looking very forward towards it. So it's Hunting Ground and then the origin, you know. So that's why I think it's a prequel, because it's origins of the Hunting Ground. So, can he make it right? So yeah, it's by Tiza and the Backpack Player, slash Jonathan Berg Ekval. The year is 1968, seven years before the original Hunting Ground takes place and you are Ron Lecter. By that time he was an ordinary man in central London. Join Ron and discover his origin in the Nightmarish chapter of the Hunting Ground trilogy. Oh, so he's going to make also another part. Oh, so this is the second part. So, perhaps in a year we will have the third part. Where fear and torment are inescapable. Justine Pax is needed. Okay, so the point that I want to note out is possibly three to four hours of gameplay. Feels good, man. Yeah, boy. So here are the the things that are good about the custom stories. Diaries and flashbacks, more different puzzles, a good story, boss battles. Ooh, interesting. I do like boss battles, though. Dialogues, a good about developed atmosphere, the three hours in commentary icon. Oh yeah, um, how can you turn that on? They said uh, to put on commentary. Ah, yeah, here. Yeah. Commentary. Okay. So, we will do it with commentary. Start. Feels fucking good, man. Ha ha ha. So the original Hunting Ground was a good custom story. By itself. It was a unique custom story as far as I can remember. <clears throat> Although I do not know if uh, the developers will remember me. Because, you know, I decided to delete that channel. My name. I made a new channel. So, I don't know if they will remember Ron me. Lecter. And this is my history. My origin. I was an ordinary man in central of London. I had a beautiful wife and a child. But that soon changed when I found the orb. It changed everything which you soon will understand. The loss of a child and a disfigured wife in a fire. I call it Hellfire. But that was not everything. I have come to understand that the orb has the power to recreate life and heal. I dedicated all my free time to the orb. I merely ever spent any time with my wife. That she actually needed of me now. But I was stupid. One day when I came home, she did something. Something that would change me forever. I would then be known as Ron Lecter. The maniac that haunted London's streets for several years. Interesting. So I don't know if the developers will remember me and my previous channel, but I can remember them. I think they were Swedish, and I can also tell that <laughs> of the accent, you know, because I used to uh, watch uh, another Swedish Amnesia player, which eventually stopped doing Amnesia and just did cringe-worthy uh, reaction channel. And he was also Swedish and the way they pronounced child, you know, that was also, I could also uh, take reference towards how they, the intro was and they also said child a couple of times in this intro. And if you go into linguistics, the CH is supposed to, you know, they are, if an Englishman would say it's child, but the Swedish have an accent to, instead of TJ, you know, chi, they would do 
shout. You know, they, they do it with an SJ. So shout. Instead of child, you know, that. But the us. Uh, okay, enough. I'm not such a linguistic person, but. Oh, glad to be done from work. Finally. Hello, and welcome to Hunting Ground Origin. Please make sure that you have played this mod already before listening to this. In the commentary icons, we will talk about each map, the feeling we wanted to give the player, and of course, a lot of spoilers. So please, if you haven't played this mod, play it and come back to this later. If you have played through this already, get ready for a documentary about mine and Tisa's greatest custom story ever, so far. I am the backer player, and I worked with the level design, and I wrote the story in this mod. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I am Dutch, so <clears throat> I most likely would also have an accent in which I I would not recognize myself, I guess. Chapter one, the beginning. Hmm. Is she taking a bath? So yeah, I'm talking about. Uh, um, yeah, I saw the thing there, but I want to speak a little bit first. <laughs> Talking about accents, it's purely academical what I'm speaking of. I'm not doing it personal. I'm not making a, you know, making it personal. I just find it interesting to point out different accents from different people if they speak uh, from different origins if they speak English. So yeah. This map is called the beginning. And in the map, we wanted to introduce one of the main characters called Elizabeth Lecter, the player's wife. You learn very quickly that she's unhappy that something had happened. I am Tisa, and I work with the lights, the effects, and the scripting of this mod. Alrighty then. Interesting. I'm home, honey. Have you had a wonderful day? I'm still bleeding from my wound. <laughs> I know, honey. But soon we will fix that. You're so disgusting. I am a monster. But you believe it's not possible, my husband. Don't talk like that. This can work. It will. I will make it work. I will fix this. I just need a little bit more time. So, you are going to lock yourself up in the office again? Why won't you look at me anymore? Why won't you spend time with me anymore? Because you're a monster. <laughs> Why won't you touch me anymore? Honey, I can fix this. I have to work now. I am close. Soon everything will be like before. Okay, honey? Oh. oh I need to use the toilet. Feels like I'm going to burst. So the toilet is upstairs. So as far as I can figure out is that this dude has a wife and the wife is having some sort of disease that turns into a monster. And we will try to find the cure. I mean it has been <clears throat> it has been a while since I um played uh hunting ground. In this map you will explore the Lecter's house and you will learn a little bit about your dead daughter Susan Lecter and that something <coughs> caused her death all right is this retarded here uh, yeah interesting though all right then. no whistling no to you know <laughs> to decrease the awkwardness of the situation. No whistling? No? Okay. Righty then. Mementos. Now it's take care of. I should go to my office and work. So where is my office? I want to explore the house. Right. So this is the bedroom. That's obvious. So I'm not a speedrunner, so I'm really hoping for it to take a couple of hours, yeah. Susan. Page 213, 1968. 
I had a nightmare this night. I was so scared. My dad came to my room and held me in his arms. He told me that monsters were not real and that they only existed in books and tales. I love my father. I love my daddy so much. He's my angel. My protecting angel. Yeah, I... Uh, Season's diary got I missed it so much. So yeah, um, I forgot that this is actually that the diary's uh, notes are actually you know uh, they have not dialogues but voice acted. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> you get what I mean. I don't need to read them myself. <laughs> That's good. What the hell happened in here, boy? I don't know. What could she possibly have been looking for? I do not know. Also, this map features multiple timelines. Oh, interesting. First, the very origin of the evil in this mod. Second, the young life of Ron Lecter and his relationship with his father. Third, flashbacks a couple of months back. And last, the timeline taking place when you are playing through this mod. This mod has 61 diaries, 27 flashbacks, 34 mementos. Running from monsters and action is not everything. The story is recommended to pay attention to. Yeah, well, I'm a custom story player, a custom story gatherer, I shall say, that pay attention to story as well, so that's good. <laughs> Old historical journal, the ancient temple order, chapter 315, 1348. Break the orb and release the evil within. Retrieve the pieces to contain the darkness. That's what I learned. Everything is going to hell here. Oh dear God, I will not forgive myself for what I have released. I need to make this right. Okay, the only thing that I do want to note out is that... <clears throat> I'm not sure it's going to be on YouTube, but... Um, the, the voice acting is a little bit uh, low. Low in volume. Uh, yeah, for Yeah. <clears throat> I would have uh, liked it to be a little bit louder, the voice acting, because it's, you know. Why would she leave the candles like this? Does she, doesn't she remember what happened last time? Alright, so, um, let's be, you know. I don't know how it's going to be on YouTube, uh, if you could be hearing the voice acting well enough, but, you know, for me it's a little bit soft. Alright, so I can't use those doors. Let me just go up there. Mm -hmm. I can't. Okay, well, we have to go down there then. Come on. I wish I could run already. <laughs> that was a quick uh, load from an area door. No. No, she couldn't. Uh, but, oh shit, boy! What happened? Uh, hey, hey. What do you want me to do, mate? I can't go there. No, no, Elizabeth, honey, what are you doing? What are you doing? Don't touch the orb. Damn it, husband. I can't move on without you. And all you do is keep giving me your offers. I need you. I need you to understand me. And accept this is me now. Damn it. All I see when I'm looking in the mirror is a monster. And I need you by my side. Honey, don't break it, please. I'm almost there. Circus three months ago. Husband, you must accept that this is me now. And you must accept that our dear little Susan is dead. And no magic of old can bring her back, or him me for that matter. Please, do not break it. <coughs> and I know what I need to do now in order to make you realize this. No, don't! <laughs> Pram pum. Pram pum pum. There goes all your study.
feels bad, man. Hello, orb. Orb broke. Understandable. Have a great day. What have you done? My wife broke the orb into pieces and now my wife is gone. I have to find Elizabeth. You fool! Old historical journal. The ancient temple orb. Chapter 311. 1348. Mr. Ernst and I was talking in the forest today. It was a wonderful day. The birds were singing, the frogs were jumping in the water, and the flowers were were glowing like colorful gold in the green big forest. Me and Ernst had a wonderful day, and we had just finished eating a big fat pig, but then suddenly I fell through the earth, and before I could react, I was in an underground cave. It was then I could see it, the blue shining light shined so much that my eyes hurt. Without thinking, I went closer and took it in my hand. It was then I could hear it, the voice of a dark and powerful thing. It wanted me to smash the orb in pieces. Next, uh, the, the, the note is unreadable. Well, feels bad, man. Well, I'm happy I don't need to speak so, so much. Ah, hell now, nah, boy. Doors don't suddenly open. That's impossible. <laughs> Far off. Close. I don't need you. Alright, so. La, 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 la. I came from here, right? Okay, so that was my study, right? Hey. Oh, I can't go there. Feels bad, man. So I guess I have to go here. Oh, interesting. Now, the game went to calm and safe, to confusing and slight scary. You wonder what just happened. This is precisely what we wanted you to feel. Oh boy, <laughs> they're going into my mind, <laughs> the developers. Holy oh, <laughs> shit. So, what do I have to find here? E I swear to God, there has to be something in that box, right? But why are those things so tiny? Yeah! Give me that! Eh! Come on, you can do it! Come on! Yeah! I doubt this moment. So, what the hell do you want me to find here then? Oh, yeah, perhaps in here. I don't like these plates! I will buy new ones. <laughs> Okay, so I have to find you something, right? Urgh. Oh, will they uh, open up another door for me? Oh, I see. My house has shifted into something else. Interesting. How is this possible? I don't know. Perhaps it's magic. Oh, hello there, Lever. I need you probably. Elizabeth's diary, page 136, 1968. My life could not have been more perfect. I have a beautiful baby girl and a wonderful and supporting husband that loves me more than anything else. I'm so happy with my family. Tomorrow, when Ron is working, I and Susan will go to her school and watch the school play. Her friends are in it. It will be a good and unforgettable day. But then something awful will happen. I dare. Uh, I, I uh, guarantee you that. Alright, so I have a... I have a lever there. 
it. But I still have to find the slot for it. Ooh, there it is. Right then. Who put who put such a thing in the chest? It's like so impractical to put the like a lever slot in a chest. Yeah, you close. Because that means they have to drill a hole in the chest and then drill a hole in the on the pff, I forgot the word on the floor. Yeah. So the you know the the thing can be connected with the door or you know anything you want to open with it. Lady then. Oh. Oh. Do you want me to play piano for you? Will do, sir. <gasps> oh. Scary. <laughs> An angry R suit of armor. Hmm. More suit of armor. Probably also angry. But they don't want to give in to the anger yet. This is all your fault. You know, are you sure about that? In this mod, you are hunting for ore pieces. Pieces that you need in order to complete the mod. They are not easy to miss and you can't continue the game without picking them up. Okay, good to know. Ah, well, 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 you want to visit me. Hmm. To the cellar. Alright. What we find in the cellar? Mm. More art pieces, perhaps? Who knows? Come on. So, oh yeah, I also forgot to say that. Um, you need to have... Uh, if you want to play this custom story, they had like several things you need to do with the files in order to make it correctly. How can this be the cellar? The this is my study area, so I like is it not? I want the Bible. Bible. Hmm. I thought perhaps you can jump through it, but no, you can't. Do you know what to do, sir? No. Oh shit! I'm back. To <laughs> we. Ah, I'm going to have a jolly good time with uh, the suit of armor, a uh, suit of armor again. Oh no! No. There is the cellar. There we are. We're going insane. <laughs> yeah. This map is called Wrong Turn. And you quickly learn that something is very wrong here. That's because this mod doesn't take place in the real world, but in a dream world, in the demon Ball's world. Yet, all the places is taken from Ron Lecter's own mind. Because yeah. that's how the demon Ball haunts you. By deciding this, we were not bound by any natural boundaries. Which also makes the mod more surprising, and you can never know what's gonna happen. So, the demon's name is Baal Baal. <laughs> they say Baal. <laughs> like, hey, he's a Baal. <laughs> no, but, um. So, B A A L, Baal, is something from ancient mythology. Let me just. Baal, or Baal, was a title on, on, no, 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 the god of Baal, there you are. Worshipped in many ancient Middle Eastern communities, especially among the Canaanites. The Lord of Rain and Dew, so, you know, you shouldn't confuse this 
bow or bow with the real, you know, uh, well, real god. <laughs> Come on, little brother. We never got to be down here when we were kids. I know, and that's what frightens me. Oh, come on now. Don't be like that. It's gonna be fun. I don't know. Father still did not like when I was asking him about the cellar. So what I want to say is that uh, this demon should not be confused with the uh, mythology of the real world of uh, uh, Lord, uh, yeah, the God Baal. I suppose, or perhaps they meant that, you know, particularly, uh, particularly. Uh, well, it's a God. It didn't say it was a demon. But, uh, well. Uh, the more you know. I think it's a fictional character that they made up here and not uh... Oh! Door! Thank you for inviting me in. But first, I want to check this out. The door leading further into the cell has a broken lock. I need to find a way to get through and I probably have to assemble the drill. Still don't have my lantern though. You know what, anyway. It's so freaking dark. I know. If look up there, I see a lantern. Oh, lantern. What? Where? I say, anyway, it's better to move in a flashback because I know that the monsters, even if they will walk around, they will not attack you if you are in a flashback. Yeah. The more you know. Okay, so there is a. First, I need my lantern. And this thing here. The lantern is completely optional to collect in this mod. It's a little hard to find it, but if you pay attention to the flashback and start to look around, it should be easy to find. Okay, so they've hidden me. <laughs> uh, they've hidden the lantern from me, so I have to find it myself. Oh, jolly good times! Give me the lantern, y'all. So the flashback was mentioning. Uh, okay, what the hell is this room? Come on, jump over the barrel. Okay, so the flashback was mentioning the ceiling collapsing. But I want my lantern, you know. You're not. Is it up there? Hey, what is that there? How the hell did you get up there then? <laughs> Parkouring. Why? Why? Why do I have to do this? Right. Um. Hmm. It, yeah, I doubt. Ow! I could do that. The lantern is completely yeah, okay, I to collect them once more. It's a little hard to find Stay. it, but if you pay attention to the flashback and start to look around, it should be easy to find. And you also Stay. Holy shit! It defies all logic. <laughs> I guess they had to make like a block of things there so you could build oh, here. Or else, you know, it will just roll off all the time and you'll be like, angry. Ah. Did he fall off? No. Stay. Bad boy. Yeah, come. Yeah. <laughs> okay. This should work. No, it should. Come on, jump on the barrel. Ah, uh, come on. Yeah, jump on here. Stop the candle. Eh. Uh, yeah, there is the lantern. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay, so, um, stop fucking with me. Eh. Uh, 
fuck. Oh boy. Okay, again. No. Go. Mm. You are an ass. Okay, I will use this one then. There we are. <laughs> that ought to work. No, stop moving. I get very angry if I can't get to it fast enough. Eh, no, no, bad boy. Stay. Why do you do that? Hmm? Stop doing that. Come on. Perhaps. Oh, I can. Angry. No, you fucking stay. Barrel, help. Please, this is such a pain in the ass. You? You. Stay. Come on, this has to work. Very angry. I'm gonna get that stupid ass lantern. Perhaps I can knock it over. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> no, yes! <laughs> no! <laughs> Life is pain! Oil still <laughs> help. You cut yourself in this situation, Tom. You have to get out of it as well. Um, I need to have something Elijah small. Lecter, diary, 1948. Ron and Henry try to go down in the cellar again. I have told them. They are not allowed to be down there. They are so careless all the time. What I am doing down here, beyond the cellar, they can never know. They will not understand. Not even my own wife does that. She just do not try to think about it. I am not proud for what I am doing. But it has to be done. Damn Ron and Henry. They will learn to obey their father. In one way or another. Oh boy, okay, this is about his childhood, I suppose. Yeah. Alright, I need something smaller to knock that lantern out of here. Like a broom or something like that. From this position. Alright, I really need something. Yeah. Ah, yeah, perhaps here. Carpet, good work. But, uh, I'm wanting something. Perhaps this one. Yeah. I'm not going to. Come on. Okay, no. Yeah. Oh, so it's just... Why can I get you? <laughs> Fuck you! Okay, so it's really stuck here. Perhaps from the side. Alright, I know what to do. You go and save and accept and you go 
and put your speed up. <laughs> I hope. I hope this will work. All right. Uh, so we are going to put my speed up. <laughs> Documents. Asia main Tom custom underground origin. The last auto save. Put it with. Not bad. Uh, Ctrl F run speed null. Put it on 15. File save. Okay. Amnesia play. And then we will probably glitch through it and try to get it uh, that way. I hope it will work. Because I have never done such a thing before with this uh, method of, you know, going around box. Because I don't feel like going all the way over. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't feel like that. <laughs> I mean, it was a smart idea to knock it over like that, but I didn't know it would just get stuck like that. Perhaps it was just bad luck on how it fell. Okay, it should be down. Yeah. Come on, you can do it. I'm sure you can glitch through it. Come on, please just... Oh, there we go. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I need to run with an object, so I will. the object will push the lantern out of it. Or perhaps it's fixed like this, I hope. For the love of God, please be fixed like this. Probably not. But... Okay. Okay, we're back here again. Wee. Huh. Oh no, this is not good. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, <laughs> that's not my meaning. <laughs> oh boy, screw me. So when you die in the cellar, I hope they have some other auto saves. But, you know, this is also kind of... Finding bugs is also good for the developers so they can fix it. So apparently if you die in the cellar one way or another, you'll be, you know, spawned here. But you cannot return to the cellar. You're just stuck here. So yeah. Um, that's not good. Perhaps I can glitch through the door. Let's see what's behind there. Ooh. Mm. Yeah, a lot of things. But um, exit. So yeah, um, I guess they have to fix that so you can go into the uh, <laughs> so they can go into the cellar again after you die in the cellar. Because now I can't and I have to reload. The safe. And I have to fix that stupid lantern in my brother. Makes me so angry. <laughs> oh, come on. There has to be a way, right? Oh shit, did you see that? Perhaps I have... Ooh. I can't fall behind here. That's a shame. Come on. Shit. Well, guess I have to start all over again in order to get a lantern. So, will I get a lantern next try? We will find out in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode. Cheers.